case briefs and so much more ls data's got what you're looking for in a clash dating back to 1997 pacific employers insurance company took on shoshone first bank in a landmark lawsuit that came to redefine policies of insurance companies throughout wyoming the case was eventually escalated to the supreme court of wyoming with a ruling handed down in 2000 the conflict arose when Shoshone First Bank was sued by a former director for an array of claims, some of which were not covered by their insurance with Pacific Employers Insurance Company. Sensing a potential conflict of interest, Pacific agreed to defend Shoshone, however, sought to shift the brunt of the defense costs for the non-covered claims onto Shoshone's shoulders. This move sparked the beginning of the lawsuit. Pacific Employers Insurance Company were claiming their right to allocate and recover costs from Shoshone for the defense of non-covered claims and the related counterclaim. The fundamental question posed to the court was whether an insurer under Wyoming law had the right to impose these costs onto the insured. Ultimately, the Supreme Court of Wyoming ruled against Pacific Employers Insurance Company. This landmark decision asserted that unless expressly specified in the policy, the insurer was solely responsible for all costs in defending against any potential claims. If even one claim was covered under the policy, the insurer could not allocate the cost of defending other non-covered claims to the insured. Moreover, for the insurer to recover costs for a counterclaim, it must be specifically allowed by the policy. On the other hand, the court did make a concession to Pacific Employers Insurance Company ruling that the insurer was within its rights to recover costs for any counterclaims levied by Shoshone First Bank. The reason being that these do not fall within the insurer's duty to defend the insured and stands as Herculean exceptions to the general obligation of an insurer. The decision acted as the quintessential precedent in future cases of this nature and potentially changed the way insurers handle cost allocation for defending claims. The outcome was specifically limited to the first and sixth claim for relief that was presented by both parties, courtesy of an approved stipulation by the United States District Court. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.